The T-34 tank, as one of the tanks with the highest production during World War II, was one of the main forces of the armored forces in World War II, both in terms of comprehensive performance and battlefield performance. The large number of T-34 tanks allowed the German army to capture many of them, with a small number being modified by German frontline technicians into self-propelled anti-aircraft guns. Among these few T-34 self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, the one self-made by the German 653rd Heavy Fighter Battalion is the most reliable, and it also has a relatively rich combat experience, leaving behind a small number of valuable photos. This self-propelled anti-aircraft gun T-34 was approximately modified from a captured T-34-76 medium tank by the German army in early 1944. Presumably, the turret part was damaged, otherwise the German army would not have modified it into a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. It must be said that the German mechanics had very strong hands-on ability. The turret part of this T-34 was removed and replaced with a semi-open rotating turret. The front and side of the turret were cut from the steel plates of a scrapped SDKFZ 251 half-track armored vehicle with a thickness of 7 to 12 millimeters. The rear and top were left open, which was also sufficient for a self-propelled anti-aircraft gun. The weapon equipment was a Flak 38 quadruple 20 millimeter high caliber gun, which was a classic low-altitude anti-aircraft weapon used by Germany during World War II. It showed high killing power against low-altitude aircraft in actual combat, but due to the wide front lines, its deployment density was not high. Although this T-34 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun equipped by the 653rd Battalion was relatively successful, it also showed many unconventional modifications. A welded frame was added to the rear sides of the vehicle body to store ammunition boxes, and a communication equipment antenna was installed on the right front of the vehicle body. Otherwise, there were basically no other changes, and the weight and maneuverability of the vehicle body should be similar to that of the T-34 tank. This T-34 self-propelled anti-aircraft gun of the 653rd Battalion was used for air defense, protecting heavy tank destroyers from air raids. It at least participated in the 653rd Battalion's early summer combat operations in 1944, and it was estimated to have been destroyed or captured around July, as there were no records of it after that. In addition, there were records of modifications by other German units, but the modified effects were much worse. For example, one modification involved directly removing the turret structure, expanding the ring, and then installing a triple anti-aircraft machine gun in the ring. This kind of modification could only carry out limited shooting, which was much worse than being able to adjust angles at will in the turret. In fact, during the entire World War II, the German army captured many T-34 tanks, most of which were repaired and put into use, and some were specifically used to confuse Soviet soldiers at the front lines. However, very few were modified into self-propelled anti-aircraft guns, which could be counted on one hand. The main reason was that the German army lacked armored weapons, and the repaired tanks were immediately put into the army so there were not many chassis available for modification into other functions. And in the later stages of the war, the German army retreated all the way and did not have the time and energy to carry out modifications. Being able to timely recover damaged armored vehicles was already very good. For the collapsing German army, such modified anti-aircraft weapons reflected the helplessness of the frontline troops because they were really lacking in weapon equipment and had to make the most of the resources at hand. If it had been the early stages of World War II, this kind of collection of parts, modification, and repair work would have been left to the secondary units or considered after the end of the battle. However, it can also be seen from the side that the skills of the German maintenance personnel were indeed high, and they were able to complete relatively professional modification work without having to go to the factory, which was very rare in other armies. After World War II, some military history enthusiasts gradually sorted out relevant fragments from the vast sea of information, put together relevant information, and gave the name T-34 Self-Propelled Anti-Aircraft Gun, which also became a unique model. This unique model has become quite popular among military enthusiasts in Europe and the United States, 
and some enthusiasts have even specially painted it, while others have made models of it, showing their true passion for military history.